I'm Buzz. And I'm Barrett. Now something is happening in the world of agriculture. Call it soil health, sustainable farming, maybe even regenerative agriculture. However you want to label it, it's happening. And soil scientist Dr. Ray Wild describes it like this. I think we're in a stage now, I actually think we're in a revolution. It's just, a, you know, it's such an exciting time to be in agriculture. After really a century of agriculture kind of going downhill, production going up, but in a very unsustainable way, and actually in a way that isn't even sustaining farmers. So the average age of farmers kept creeping up, so it's in the 60s now. And now we're entering a period where some of the uh, leading innovative farmers, definitely the farmers are leading this. So part of the controversy is that the scientists are, are chasing behind and, and you know these things seem to work. Can we explain why they're working? We don't know. There's a lot we don't know, which makes science exciting. If we knew it all, we'd kind of retire, right? And this is what's making so many farmers and ranchers in South Dakota excited. And NRCS state conservationist Jeff Zimbridge gets it. I got a chance to be out in the field. I got a chance to visit with our staff. I got a chance to visit with producers. And just seeing this incredible interest in this topic, it just seemed to me like what was going to be able to make our state successful was if we had the healthiest soils possible. And so I really believe it's the most important thing we can focus on. So soil health is a slam dunk, right? Well, not quite. And the big picture is that no-till acreage is still climbing in South Dakota, but it's not across the board. We've seen a leveling off in some counties and even a loss of no-till acreage in others. And that also has Jeff's attention. So the first thing is, we got to start finding out why, right? And pretty much any time that you get out amongst producers, there's going to be folks that are going to go, yeah, well, yeah, it could work there, but it won't work on my farm, and here's why. And so we heard issues like, um, my soils are too wet, my soils are too cold, I have too much residue, um, I can't plant that rotation because that's not economical for me, and the list goes on. While we heard those things, it gets kind of perplexing because you look right across the road, and then there's a producer that's doing it and being very successful. So... This whole idea of trying to research this stuff, bring together the researchers, bring together the people who are doing it on the landscape, and try to really dig deeper and kind of find out if we can explain maybe why they're concerned about it, but maybe why they're concerned about it is not real true. And so our job is to do the deeper digging. We'll be speaking to people in the lab and on the land. And we'll be the guys asking merit or myth We'll post this material as videos, blogs, vlogs, and podcasts. And now I'm really getting excited. We look forward to visiting with you all at Merit or Myth. Stay tuned because this will be fun.